Okay, this is just a short video just to show some of the environment ideas I've been playing with. Um, just a short piece of music, drums, bass, uh, just to demonstrate with. And yeah, all of these environment ideas are kind of made to use with a touch screen or with a touch screen in mind. That's what I'm using them with. And so you'll see the mouse jumping around. Uh, that's just me tapping the touch screen. Um, okay. So the first environment I've got over here is just some drum effects triggers. Um, so let me just play this a second. The drums and bass. So let's just listen to the drums. Yeah, and what they are, they trigger effects like delay, reverb in different ways, some EQs, etc. So. And, um, yeah, and it just allows me to play around with effects really quickly. Things like adding EQs. Yeah, useful for that sort of thing. And then similar kind of idea, but um, this time for uh, bass lines. So this is just a very simple environment to control the S2, a simple bass line, and yeah. So some LFO controls for rate. And then amount. And then some effects. Basic filtering. Etc. Then I've got a similar kind of thing on the mix bus. My damn computer could keep up with all of this. Um, yeah, same sort of thing. Filtering, etc. Just makes um, putting in automation a bit more fun. Uh, lastly, yeah, this is just a a nice little thing for controlling the arpeggiator, the arpeggiator object in Logic. And I've just got a patch here to demonstrate it with. Um, so what this is going to control this this going to this is going to change this patch and I've got things like uh, the arpeggiated division so whether it's playing sixteenth notes thirty second notes etc and the length or duration of those individual notes some octave stuff crescendo decrescendo stuff etc it'll be obvious when I play it so uh, yeah let me just get rid of that so we can hear it a bit better. So duration. Yeah, it's not like in doing this video and this at the same time. But yeah, it's jamming out with different lengths, different divisions. Things like adding a decrescendo effect. Yeah, it's all good, and it's just kind of, it's kind of useful on drums as well for kind of MPC style drum programming. So if I just take a hat, uh, do the same. Yeah, you can jam in those kind of MPC things. Etc. 